another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for MDT's WrestleMania 37 predictions for you guys. We're going to take you through the full WrestleMania card, letting you guys know my own thoughts and opinions on the matches coming in, what I expect out of the show, uh, you know, just my full-fledged predictions, what I expect out of it, who I think is going to win, how I think it's going to go, what I think of the feuds coming in. I mean, it's WrestleMania time, man. This is the biggest show of the year. This is where all of the marbles are on the line. We got all the eggs in the basket. It is time to freaking can go. Now, of course, this year they are doing two nights, just as they did with WrestleMania 36, guys. We are having a two-night event. Night one being, of course, Saturday night, and then night two being Sunday night. We will review both nights, so night one's review will go up Saturday night late, and then night two's review will go up late Sunday night, so stay tuned for the reviews. But diving into this card, man, you know, this WrestleMania season has been lackluster, to say the least. I feel like, you know, both of these cards don't have a ton of star power, you know? We don't have any Goldbergs, Brock Lesnar's, John Cena's, Undertaker's, you know what I'm saying. I mean, we got a lot of current day talent, a lot of talent that's working every single day of the schedule, and it should make for an exciting show, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited for a lot of these matches. Don't get me wrong, there are a couple bummers, but I feel like every year there's at least one or two of those, right? So how we'll do it is we'll go ahead and do night one's card, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at night two's card. But let's dive into WrestleMania 37, breaking down all the matchups and giving you guys my own thoughts and opinions on what I think's gonna happen. All right, guys, so starting out first, we're going to start out with the Tag Team Turmoil match. Now, you guys already know kind of how I feel. If you don't know how I feel about this, well, <laughs> Jesus. All right, so basically, Vince McMahon just decided, let's round up every woman that we got laying around and just kind of pair them with random women to go after the tag titles. Now, if you ask me, in my opinion, women's tag titles should have never been made. Have to mention that every single time we bring up the tag titles, but again, they shouldn't have been made. Anyway, since they are made and we're having this Tag Team Turmoil match, it says that Carmella and Billy Kay are not in this match anymore, so I don't know if they're going to be in the match. I'm just going to add them in here just in case, but the winner of this match on night one is going to go over on night two and fight Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, and here is my prediction for that matchup. So what I expect is I think that, no doubts about it, there's no other way this thing should go, man. The Riot Squad should be the last team standing, so at the end of the day, no, Tamina, you don't win. This is what we're going to be left with. I feel that they're going to win the Tag Team Turmoil match and go one-on-one -on -one with Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax on night two, and I think that Ruby Riot and Liv Morgan are going to get the job done, man. I'm going to go Riot Squad to pin and win and capture the Women's Tag Team Championships, make for a cool little moment with all of them. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'm going to go Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot to capture the Women's Tag Titles, and that's literally the only way this thing should go. Next up, guys, we have one of the matches that I'm probably the least looking forward to. We have Miz and Morrison taking on Bad Bunny and Damian Priest. You guys kind of know how I feel about celebrities in my wrestling, you know, I I've heard that Bad Bunny has been training every day for this, so maybe, you know, I, I bet I'll be shocked, man. I'll be shocked. I bet he'll surprise the hell out of everybody. I bet he looks like he's pretty athletic, so I'm sure that he'll put on a pretty damn good football game here. Hopefully, it's just a good match. I mean, I'm not invested in it. I don't give a damn about the outcome, but maybe I'll be entertained throughout I'm going to go with Bad Bunny and Damian Priest to win. I think Bad Bunny will hit some flip or, or splash or something, pin The Miz, and end up winning. It's crazy how far The Miz has gone from WWE Champion to in this celebrity matchup that quickly in a matter of weeks. But here we are, man. I'm going to go Bad Bunny and Damian Priest, and that's all I got to say. Next up, we have a Raw Tag Team Championship match. AJ Styles and Omos are almost going after the Raw Tag Titles against The New Day. Now, I actually think we're going to get new Raw Tag Team Champions. This is... I I think this is Omos's debut, right? I don't think he's had a singles match or anything like that outside of a few bumps. You know, he's, he's taken a few bumps here and there, some chair shots, things of that nature. I don't think he's actually had a matchup just yet, so it looks like he's going to be getting his actual WWE debut here on the big stage, and I think they are, uh, again, I think they're trying to build this guy up as the next big man in WWE. I hope the best for him. I hope he is entertaining. I like, I like him. I like the look of the guy. I think he's great. Really big dude. I think he could be the next big show possibly. Who, who the hell knows, you know? You, you never really know. But I hope that guy goes up there and kicks some ass. I'm going to pick AJ Styles and Omos to get the win here. And I bet that it's going to slowly build to an AJ Styles face turn. Omos will be the heel. And we will get a SummerSlam matchup where AJ Styles puts over Omos. After they win the tag titles here, they'll be built up a little bit. And then they'll eventually break up where we'll get our one-on-one -on -one feud. And AJ will put the big guy over. So I'm going AJ Styles and Omos to win the Raw Tag Championships. 
Next up is a matchup, another one that I don't really care about the outcome for, but I hope that it is an entertaining match. The Steel Cage match, Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon. Now, again, I don't give a goofy god dang about the outcome of this, but anything, you know, when, when you get Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon together, you know, Braun Strowman likes to tear down ish. Shane McMahon likes to jump off of ish. I bet we get a damn, we're gonna get a damn gainer or super shooting star press right off the top of the cell or something crazy, man. I, I expect some entertainment out of this match. You know, Shane McMahon puts on Loki really good banger matchups and Braun Strowman is is very entertaining even though I don't give a rip about the character or anything he can still put on a really entertaining match so I'm gonna go with Shane McMahon to get the win I don't know why I just feel like Shane McMahon's gonna get the win it'll probably go to another pay-per-view or so so I'm gonna go Shane McMahon for the win in a matchup that uh, I'm just not invested in next up guys is a matchup that I'm actually really looking forward to Seth freaking Rollins against Cesaro man this one should be a banger it could be the best wrestling match man Maybe outside of one or two, this could be the standalone best, you know, technical wrestling match that we get on the weekend of WrestleMania. My man Seth Rollins is coming in. I love both these guys. I am a pretty big Seth Rollins mark. And, you know, he did put over Kevin Owens last year in their epic clash. So I think they're actually going to give the Messiah the win this time. As much as I would love to see Cesaro win, I just don't think they're going to give it to him. So I'm going to predict Seth Rollins to win. I hope he wears some sick-ass gear for me to make a custom out of. I usually make a custom out of his WrestleMania gear. I think I've done it the last like three or four years so I'm uh, very much looking forward to this hopefully it'll be a cool gear we'll get to make it in custom form showcase it on the channel but I'm gonna go with the Messiah over Cesaro and I just hope for a really classic matchup here at Mania Next up is our SmackDown Women's Championship match. Sasha Banks defends against Bianca Belair. Now, I absolutely love both of these ladies. I think they're two of the best in the world at what they do. They are absolutely fantastic. You've got all the women wrapped up in these championship matches are probably the best that the company has to offer, I would say. Rhea, Asuka, Sasha, Bianca. All four of these women can absolutely go. I also just realized it's Asuka, Rhea, Bianca, Sasha. Interesting. But for the SmackDown Women's Championship, man, I'm going to go Bianca Belair. I think this is going to be her crowning moment. She won the Rumble. She looked damn good in last year's Rumble. I think this is the time for her to be finally just thrusted up into that main event card level, and she will stay there for the remainder of her career, man. This is going to be a crowning moment for Bianca. We'll get into Rhea later on, but this is absolutely going to be her crowning moment. I can see this being a big WrestleMania deal for them, and this is going to be uh, something that we remember for a very long time. I'm going Bianca Belair over Sasha Banks in a classic and hopefully a matchup that we will remember for a very long time. And for our main event of night one guys i have the wwe championship bobby lashley defends against drew mcintyre now this is one of those matches on the card that i'm looking forward to but it's really hard to predict i just don't know what wwe are planning it's really hard to predict simply because i mean drew mcintyre you know they built him up for a year he had the you know last year he was supposed to have his big wrestlemania moment capturing the championship in front of the live crowd the crowd that wanted to see him win that damn thing all year long he finally does it no crowds there we're finally gonna have a packed out crowd at WrestleMania, which is probably the most exciting thing for me, man. Just to see a live crowd there and react genuinely to the sound and the and the and everything that we get at the show. I'm so excited to see that take place, man. I, I've just been waiting on these full crowds. It really adds to the show and it really hurts. I feel like it's hurt NXT for the better part since the pandemic started. That they haven't had full crowds has really hurt their shows. I think the same thing with AEW. So hopefully WrestleMania will be just as epic with this full crowd here or, you know, semi-full whatever the hell. But this matchup's hard to predict man. I really don't even know where the hell to go with it. <sighs> with the Hurt Business breaking up and stuff, I don't know, man. It's so hard to, like, I feel like it's super hard to predict this thing, but I think I'm gonna go Bobby Lashley retaining for some reason. I don't know why, I just feel it. And, you know, not every championship is gonna change hands here, and I have a few switched hands already. I just, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Bobby Lashley retaining the championship. I don't wanna see the potato. I don't wanna, I almost said I don't wanna see the potato. I don't wanna see the championship play hot potato here. I'm gonna stick with Bobby Lashley. I'd be fine with Drew McIntyre winning, but I'm going to go with Lashley to retain here at WrestleMania and uh, keep going with that WWE Championship. Next up, guys, we have another matchup that I'm very much looking forward to. Matt Riddle defends his United States Championship against Sheamus. This one is going to be so physical, bro. This is going to be, I didn't even mean to say bro in that way. I'm meaning bro, just straight up. Wasn't even thinking about Matt Riddle. This matchup is going to be super physical, super hard hitting. Both men are going to be beaten to a pulp, like lashes and whelps and bruises. 
matches. They are going to feel this the next day, Brad, for sure. But I think that, you know, Sheamus has had his WrestleMania moments. It is time for Matt Riddle to make his moment here. I got Matt Riddle retaining the U.S. Championship over Sheamus. And I know it kind of seemed like Sheamus kind of fell off there. He was in the main event picture for a second, and then he fell off to the mid card. And now he's going to lose this matchup. But I just think that Sheamus needs to give the nod here to Matt Riddle, really solidify his status here in the mid card as U.S. Champion. And this one's going to be a very underrated contest, man. Keep your eyes on this one. This could low key be match of the night. But I'm going to go Matt Riddle to retain his U.S. title. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I guess it's time to note that I don't have a segment right here where I'm going to talk about the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, but if they actually end up doing the Fatal 4-Way or whatever they're going to do for the SmackDown Tag Titles, I have Rey Mysterio and Dominic winning the SmackDown Tag Titles as a WrestleMania moment, you know, father-son, and they're going to put it over as like one of the biggest moments ever and talk about it for years. So there, there you go. That's my prediction for the SmackDown Tag Titles. All right, guys, incoming banger alert. We got my boy KO going up with Sami Zayn. You guys know the history of these two. I'm so glad that these guys, after their long history, their long independent careers of, of traveling together and all the long nights, man, getting a one-on-one -on -one match here at WrestleMania is going to be so fantastic. And seeing it in front of a live crowd, man, this is going to be great and excellent and terrific, man. This is going to be amazing. I cannot wait to see what these guys come up with. I know we got Logan Paul thrown in there, which is kind of, you know, a turnoff for this match for me. You know, I, I used to despise the man. Like, if this was, like, a couple years ago, I would probably be heavily pissed at this. But he's grown on me a lot. But I just, I don't know what kind of role he's going to play. I don't think this matchup really needed him. It's kind of like they just inserted him in here. It's kind of crazy that Kevin Owens is mentioned in the same breath as Logan Paul. But uh, here we go, man. I'm going to predict Kevin Owens getting the win over Sami Zayn. And I don't know. I think Logan Paul will try to get involved or do a splat. He'll definitely do something. But I just hope for a highly dramatic, really entertaining match. And I know we're going to get it because it's... KO and Sami Zayn. I mean, uh, there's no doubts about it that this is going to be a fantastic match. I just hope that it lives up to those expectations and Kevin Owens gets the win. So I'm going to go KO for the win at KO Mania. Next up is our Intercontinental Championship match. Big E defends against Apollo Crews. Now, I'm pretty sure Apollo Crews has had a ton of chances at this already. However, you know what's one more? This is a Nigerian drum fight, whatever the hell that means. I'm excited to see what that means, what that entails, but I think these guys are going to put it all on the line. Uh, WrestleMania is where you should hold anything back, man. Give everybody time. You got two nights. You split it up nicely. You're on Peacock. You got plenty of time. Doesn't matter if it runs over. Just let these guys go out there, do what they do. I'm really enjoying Apollo's heel work right here, man. I think they're going to give him the nod. I'm going to go Apollo capturing the Intercontinental Championship right here. If this heel character means anything on the main roster, if this means anything to WWE, they will put the championship on him because if he turned heel for nothing and did this whole character change and he's just going to lose right here, I mean, what does that tell you, Brad? What does that tell you as an audience? Does, it pretty much tells you don't even look at this guy. So I think it is imperative that he walks out with the championship. I'm going to go Apollo to win and hopefully a banger matchup. Next up, we have a matchup that I'm kind of afraid of just because of what the past has seen between the House of Horrors matchup and then we had the bugs on the freaking thing and then we had the set of blaze and we had the, we've had a crazy history with Randy Orton and the Fiend slash Bray Wyatt. Now we got zombie Bray Wyatt going up with Randy Orton right here, man. Alexa Bliss will play her role. I think no doubt about it. I mean, zombie Fiend has got to win, right? He's got to win. It's very similar to the Apollo Crews situation where it's like if he doesn't win, then what the hell are we doing? I honestly think they're booking themselves into a corner because, you you know, how do you book an undead character like this? He's he's already dead. Like, you can't kill what's already dead. So, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like this is pretty much, unless, like I said, they should have booked it like a buried alive matchup and you could have had Randy Orton trap him in there and then bury him under concrete or something and then, I don't know, you could have done something. They, there was something you could have done, but I don't know where the hell they're going with it. They want to ride this thing for merch and, and money and stuff like that. So, I got the Fiend winning, no doubt about it. Sorry for Randy Orton. I love him, but yeah, he, he's definitely going down here today, Brad. Over on to the Raw Women's Championship side, guys. Asuka defends against Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair are going to make history on this night, man. This is what I was talking about with Bianca Belair. I think this is going to be our WrestleMania 21 John Cena and Batista crowning moments, where we're going to look back on this show and be like, yeah, that's where Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley really made their careers and really, like, took off on the rocket. So I got both of them capturing both championships, taking it over there and kind of bringing us into this new era of the women's division here. And hopefully it will lead to uh, a better development of the women's divisions. I got Rhea Ripley over Asuka here winning the Raw Women's Championship. I hope it happens for her. I think she's a great talent. Her and Bianca together. I know they've been booked like garbage, but uh, hopefully we can get things rolling with the start of their championship reigns here. I got Rhea Ripley, no doubts about it. And Asuka is going to carry her. Not legit carrier because she could still work 
work like a like a hoss too, but I think that Asuka is the perfect opponent. They're going to absolutely burn the house down. And for our main event of WrestleMania 37, man, Triple Threat Universal Championship, the Tribal Chief, the Big Dog, Roman Reigns defends against Edge and Daniel Bryan. Now, how we got here is very interesting. Uh, I, I just hope for a great match. Of course, Edge did win the Royal Rumble, and they're so, I, I honestly feel like it could go any way. Like, all three ways are definitely plausible with Daniel Bryan. You guys know his history in Triple Threat matches at WrestleMania. His track record speaks for itself. Roman Reigns has been the just the best WWE superstar all year. I'd say he has just been on absolute fire. And no matter what happens in this matchup, Roman Reigns cannot take the pin. So I don't think Roman Reigns is getting pinned whatsoever. I think if Edge were to win, it would be by pinning Daniel Bryan. And if Edge, if Daniel Bryan were to win, it would be by tapping out Edge. Or Roman Reigns spearing Edge and then Daniel Bryan sneaking in there with a diving headbutt or like a double entendre. Bam, bam. One, two, three. Oh, man. I'm leaning towards Roman or Edge. I honestly don't think Daniel Bryan could win, but I know it is plausible. It's definitely something that could take place, but I don't think that is where they're going to go with it. I feel like it's going to be Edge. I feel like they added Daniel Bryan to the match for him to take the pin. So I am going to go. So at the end of the matchup right here, man, I'm going to go Edge pinning Daniel Bryan and winning the Universal Championship, having this one big send-off. You know, he captures the championship that he never really lost. He had to surrender it over. He comes back, wins the Rumble, gets this opportunity here. It just makes the most sense to me. I'm going to go Edge for the win, new Universal Champion, but Roman Reigns will not get pinned, and Roman Reigns will win it back at a later date because, he, you know, he never lost it, whatever. And yeah, I think that's what we got. I think we're going to see Edge end of WrestleMania holding up the championship. Now, I would, I would love to see Roman Reigns hold it. I think Roman Reigns should probably hold this thing for a long time, man. I would love to see next WrestleMania with, with The Rock or something. Like, you can do some epic stuff with Roman Reigns, but I think I'm ultimately going to go with Edge to capture the Universal Championship and uh, retire that ugly belt and give us back the big gold heavyweight championship. I can dream, can I? Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into the random shout-out for today's video. It's going to go to Top Guy Reviews, who says, Hey, Brad, the double-jointed arm starts at Elite Series 88, but it's funny because we got render images of Elite 88 figures and they didn't have the double-jointed arms, Brad. So what do you say about that, huh? I mean, I guess it is a render image. They haven't, you know, they may have not have fully tooled the double-jointed arms yet, but that is something that I did want to mention because I did mention that uh, because, you know, we're supposed to start to get double-jointed arms, and if they started Elite 88, we saw Elite 88 Roman, and I think we saw another figure, but neither of those guys had double-jointed arms, so I don't know. But a huge shout-out to Top Guy Reviews for that comment. I, I actually, now that you say that, I do remember them saying that. I just, I guess I completely forgot about that with the reveals, but that does it for my WrestleMania 37 predictions, guys. Come back Saturday night and Sunday night for the reviews of each show. Really excited for it. I just hope it lives up to it. The, the arena looks immaculate. The stage looks great. It looks so much better than WrestleMania 36. I'm so damn excited to hear the crowds and see all the lights and stuff. It's going to be so much better than 36. It's actually going to feel like a damn WrestleMania, so that's what I'm most excited for, man, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Don't cross the line like uh, Karrion Cross did at NXT TakeOver. Don't carry and cross the line. You cross the line, I've been